Fishing a jig in the cold weather months, a lot of times it starts getting good once the water temperatures start to develop into the lower 50s. Um, some of the things we start looking for is a lot of your tapering points with stumps on them. And the fish will gradually move from your tapering type banks and transition throughout the winter until they get on the uh, strictly a bluff wall. During this transition time, it's key to try to follow the fish and keep checking different types of banks. We'll fish a lot of 45 degree banks. 45 degrees is the angle of the bank coming into the water versus a flat bank or a straight bluff. So when you're fishing the bluff, bluff walls or channel swings, one of the key areas in the channel swings where the, the bank will transition. And a lot of those transition points are where the creek channel runs in against the bank, making it vertical. And as it goes away from the bank, the bank will gradually taper off. And a lot of those transition areas are, are key to getting bites, especially in the winter months. A lot of those top areas will also have a different type of rock on them. Some of the banks that you'll fish, you know, if you see a bank that's kind of straight, got some shelly rock on it, and then all of a sudden you see some chunk rock develop on it, or some big boulders, those are key areas to look at. Uh, what makes a casting jig unique compared to other jigs is it's a little bit more of a finesse style and it's used for situations where you want to cover various depths in the water column and while doing that you want to be imitating bait fish, crawfish especially and it's able to come through cover effectively without getting hung up. Okay I'm just working my jig out. Uh, this bank is kind of a 90 degree pea gravel bank on the end of it has a little bit of drop, a little flat spot on top it's got a lot of scattered stumps on there. So I throw my jig out. First thing I want to do is make sure I got good slack line so the jig falls straight to the bottom. You don't want your jig to pendle them down. Once I know that I've got the slack line, got a little bow in my line, know the jig's on the bottom, then I'll start dragging it slowly. When I'm dragging it slow, I want to envision that I'm, my jig's a little crawfish down there. You know, sometimes crawfish will dart around and stuff, but most of the time crawfish are crawling around really slow. So I'm working my bait, slowly feeling the bottom, feeling what's down there. If I'm on the rock, if I'm on any kind of smooth bottom, if I'm pulling up to a stump, right there I can start to feel my line start to get just a little bit tighter. That, that way I know I'm starting to pull up to a stump and I don't want to jerk the, my jig away from that stump too quickly. So one of the things I want to do is give, give my line just a little bit of slack. I'll raise my rod tip and then just start shaking my jig and gradually pulling it up to the top of the stump. Once I'm on the top of the stump, I want to leave my jig on there just for a second. Maybe give it just a little bit of action. Give it a little twitch or two and then just gradually pull it over and I want the jig to fall straight down the other side of the stump. If I pull on my jig too, too hard, it's just gonna pull the bait away from the stump, away from the piece of cover that I'm fishing and the fish, you know, if they're really active, that's fine, they'll come get it. But if they're not active, if they're just sitting there, I want the bait to drop straight in front of their face. And that'll give, give them a chance to strike at it. And I'll just gradually work my jig away from the stump a little bit, giving it some little twitches, imparting some action on it, letting the skirt flare back and forth a little bit letting the chunk do its job, give it a little bit of action. But as you notice, I'm not, not really pulling the jig real hard, real fast. Just trying to be as natural as I can with it. There's a bite. Got a big smallmouth on here. Just trying to play him into the boat. Even though it's winter time, they still can fight pretty good. Just want to keep the line tight, playing down a little bit. He's got the jig really good in his mouth. So now that I can see that, I know he's going to stay on there pretty good. Come on, big fella. Come on. There we go. So that's what we're after out here.